Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Snuggles and Storytime. My name's Amanda, and I'm so glad that you could join me today. Today, we've got a great story about a sheep who's a little bit different and loves being a little bit different. His name is Wolber. And before I tell you more, let's go ahead and sing hello. Put your hands up so you can join me. Here we go. Hello, all my friends, how are you? Hello, all my friends, how are you? With a jiggle, 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 and a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Hello, all my friends, how are you? Are you ready for a great story? It's a fun one. It's called Wolber, and it's written by Leslie Hilaski, and it's illustrated by Lee Harper. I think you're going to like it. Let's take a look. Oh, it's a big book. I'm going to turn around just a little bit for you. Wolber had a little trouble with the herd today, said Ma. What happened, said Pa. I don't want to stand still with the sheep, said Wilbur. I ran with the dogs instead. But those dogs are half wild, said Pa. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? They'll run circles around you, said Ma. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? Does he have a problem? Mm -mm. Don't worry, said Grandpa. But Ma and Pa pulled on their wool all night. So they're pulling on their wool, which means they're worried. They're worried about Wolber. Wolber had a little trouble in the shearing barn today, said Ma. What happened? asked Pa. I don't want to shear my wool. That's like getting a haircut for a sheep, is shearing a wool, said Wilbur. Being woolly feels nice. But it's springtime, said Pa. I know, said Wooly, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? Your wool is so long, said Ma. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? Don't worry, said Grandpa. But Ma and Pa pulled on their wool all night long. So he wants to be different. Is that a problem to be different? Not really, but his mom and dad are still worried. Wilbur had a little trouble carding wool today, said Ma. Carding is when they brush the wool between two brushes and it makes it really smooth and stringy so they can make it into fabrics. What happened? said Pa. I carded my own wool, said Wilbur. No more tangles. See how he brushed his own hair and now he got really poofy. But sheep don't card wool on their bodies, said Pa. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? You look so different, said Ma. I know, said Wilbur. Wilbur. Isn't it great? Don't worry, said Grandpa. But Ma and Pa pulled on their wool all night long. They're still worried. Wolber had a little trouble spinning today, said Ma. What happened? asked Pa. I rode on the spinning wheel, said Wolber. It was fun. Doesn't that look like fun? I think so. But spinning isn't supposed to be fun, said Pa. I know, said Wolber. Isn't it great? Your yarn is all loopy, said Ma. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? Don't worry, said Grandpa. But Ma and Pa pulled their wool all night long. 
Wolbur had a little trouble dyeing wool today, said Ma. What happened? asked Pa. Instead of dyeing the yarn, I dyed myself, said Wolbur. I like experimenting. You look unbelievable, said Pa. I know, said Wolbur. Isn't it great? It'll never wash out, said Ma. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? Don't worry, said Grandpa. But Ma and Pa pulled their wool all night long. Are they still worried? They are. Wilbur had a little trouble, trouble weaving today, said Ma. What happened? asked Pa. I put my head in the loom, said Wilbur, to weave my forelock. It's like their hair on their forehead. That's their forelock. But that's not what you were shown, said Pa. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? Uh-oh. He's not supposed to do that, is he? No, but it does look pretty fun. It's unheard of, said Ma. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? Do you like his hairdo? It looks kind of fun. Don't worry, said Grandpa. But Ma and Pa pulled their wool all night long. Finally, Ma and Pa took Wilbur aside and said, you must follow the flock, dear. It's what we sheep do. From now on, you will stay with the herd like everyone else. You will shear your wool like everyone else. You will card wool like everyone else. You will spin wool like everyone else. You will dye wool like everyone else. You will weave wool like everyone else. Oh, said Wilbur. Does he want to be like everybody else? Not really. He thought and thought all night long. And from then on, he taught everybody to run with the dogs and let their wool grow, and card their own wool, and spin crazy yarn, and experiment with colors. Now they're all like him. So he was told he had to be like all the other sheep, and he helped all the other sheep be like him, so he could still have fun. Is that a problem, you think? Let's see. Ma and Pa put their heads in their hooves and sighed. Wilbur doesn't think like we do, said Ma. I know, said Pa. Now everyone looks like Wilbur and acts like Wilbur, said Ma. I know, said Pa. How will we ever find him? Don't worry, said Grandpa. What is he doing? Oh, he's making something with the yarn. I wonder what it's gonna be. Maybe a scarf? I don't know. That was our story. Did you like it? I like how he was not afraid to be different and how he had fun doing whatever he thought he should do. That's the way life should be, don't you think? about having fun? That's what I think. Until next time, friends. Bye-bye.